What's up everyone, China Cycling here, aka Joe, aka the Martian Ballerina. I'm getting old and I'm getting fat, and that can only mean one thing, it's time to get a gravel bike. Of course, there are heaps of decent gravel bikes out there, but like every 30 something approaching a midlife crisis, the only material of choice is titanium, and the only acceptable geometry is fully custom, even if you have no clue what you're doing. Of course. This is China Cycling, so we can't just get on the phone to Moots or Firefly and drop four or five grand on a frame. Oh no, we're gonna look after the dope. So, after some poking around the internet, a lot of people were saying good things about Waltley Titanium. The friendliest man on YouTube, Mark Ferguson, aka the Cycling Maven, also did a video about them a while back. Link below to that one. So I thought, why not drop them a line? But when I went on the website and went to the contact page, I almost dropped my chopsticks when I saw their address was about three kilometers away from my studio. Now, this was back in April when Corona was starting to ease up here in China. Anyway, I made an appointment with the boss man Terry and went to have a bit of a chat. He agreed to give me an absolute truck ton of money to make a video. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But he did agree to sponsor a frame. So like all my videos, I'm honest with you guys and I'll tell you up front, I did not pay for my frame, but I also didn't get a penny to make this video and as always, I'm free to say what I want. In this series, I'm gonna break it down into a few videos. First, I'm gonna show you around the factory, that's this video. In the next video, I'm going to talk you through my entire design process, the ordering process, the costs, how long it took, and show you the finished frame. After that, I'll do a video building up the frame, showing you the finished bike and giving it a review. So, without further ado, let's go take a look. So, I came down to Waltley Titanium Technology here in Shaman, go in the factory, have a look how they make the bikes. Let's go have a look. So the first step is the raw materials. Obviously titanium bikes need a lot of titanium. Uh, every month there's a whole bunch of titanium being shipped in, ready to be made into frames. Titanium obviously not the cheapest metal in the world, so there's obviously a fair few quids worth of titanium here. When I was walking around a bit earlier, it was super noisy. Obviously a factory floor, it's gonna be noisy, but now it's 12 o'clock, everyone's gone for lunch, so we can have a look and see how they make these bikes. Before we can get our hands dirty on the factory floor, we should start upstairs in the office. This is Amy. She was very serious whenever the camera was on, but she's super friendly and very helpful and she'll probably be the one who handles your order. She has great English and she'll take good care of you, especially if you tell her China Cycling sent you. In the office, there are three frame designers who design Walt Disney's frames in CAD. I was impressed to see one was a chick. I mean, there's no reason why I should be surprised, right? It's 2020. But China has a reputation for being a bit behind the times in these things, so to see a female frame designer and a female frame welder, it was a pleasant surprise. Anyway, you can purchase your frame happy in the fact that Waltley is apparently an equal opportunities employer. Once you've talked to Amy about your frame and the designers have produced a design you're happy with, it's time to go back down to the shop floor. As well as custom frames, Waltley also do a range of their own off-the-shelf options, as well as doing OEM for some big Western brands that have titanium options. I'm obviously not allowed to tell you who, but I was quite surprised at whose frames I saw being made there. Anyway, these off-the-shelf options are a lot easier for them to produce, as they can cut 20 identical seat tubes or 20 identical down tubes and produce them in a batch much quicker. For the custom options, they print out a one-to-one -one CAD drawing of the frame that they use throughout the production process. So, the first step is selecting the right tubes and then cutting them down to the right size. Waltley will choose tube thickness, etc. according to your weight and also your desired ride properties. After the tubes are cut to the right length, they're mitered on the ends to allow them to perfectly match onto their joints. Any bends needed are then bent in using huge presses. I'd hate to get my hand stuck in one of these. I saw some fine tuning to the bends being done with a few taps of a mallet, and that kind of showed me how much of a, a craft work this is. 
At this stage, any required holes are also drilled into the tubes for cable routing, etc. There also seem to be a few extra steps for polishing or buffing the ends of the tubes, presumably to get better welds. One thing I noticed throughout the whole process was just the attention to detail. Everyone was super focused on the task at hand. I also looked at the photos from their annual meetings and noticed in almost every photo for the past 5 or 6 years, the majority of the staff were the same. That, to me, rings dividends about not only how experienced the staff are, but also how well the company must treat them. After this, the pieces are sent upstairs to get turned into frames. Workers carefully attach the pieces to giant jigs that keep everything nice and straight and at the correct angle. The various pieces are tack welded together temporarily to keep them in shape before the final welding is done. Putting the frames together on these jigs seem to be the most fiddly part of the build. Careful attention was paid comparing the setup of the jig to the one-to-one -one CAD drawing. After being tack welded into place, it's time for the proper welding. Apparently welding titanium isn't as straightforward as welding steel, but to be honest, I never thought welding steel was particularly straightforward either. Anyway, titanium has to be welded in an oxygen-free environment. The workers plug up the ends of the frame tubes and fill the frame with argon gas. Argon gas is also pumped out of the end of the welding torch to keep the whole process oxygen-free and ensure a long-lasting weld. It was also nice to see a Park Tools frame clamp being used. I'm sure they could fabricate their own or source a cheaper option, but having nice tools makes for happy workers which leads to good quality frames. Kudos. After the frame is welded, it gets a bit of quality control love. As far as I could see, they were mostly checking for alignment and making sure the frame's dimensions and angles were all up to spec. After this step, the frames went next door to the finishing room. In here, there were various stages of polishing, buffing, sanding, and material blasting to get the desired finish. One of the hardest decisions of my frame was choosing the finish. I went for a blasted finish with brushed logos, which involved me sending files over to them and then printing out masks, applying them to the frame, and then blasting the frame. Once blasted, they removed the masks and my frame was almost done. The last step is to apply all the fixtures and fittings such as bottle cages, rivnets, derailleur hangers and screws. After that, one final QC check and the frame is good to go. In the next video, I'm going to be talking more about the specifics of my frame, what I chose, why I designed it that way, how much it should cost and all that juicy stuff. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you ring that bell so you don't miss that video when it comes out. If you've already seen enough and you want to jump on the Midlife Crisis Custom Titanium Frame bandwagon, check the description below for details on how to get in touch with Waltley. We're currently working on some sort of discount scheme for you guys, so tell them China Cycling sent you and you should get a discount on your frame. Any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to get back to them ASAP. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. China Cycling, out.